Hey guys, it's me Nikki Z and I'm here to do a quick tutorial. The look is kind of like a daytime smoky eye for summer. It's a little shimmery. I'm using the e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow Palette. This is in the, I guess, the one in California, which has a very pretty purple, um, lots of browns. There's a beautiful silver in there. And I love browns and golds and nudes, so this is kind of up my alley. And I do like shimmer, of course. So, as you guys can see, it's just a very simple, let me go ahead and tilt my light a little bit. There we go. It's kind of a simple smoky eye. Again, it's perfect for like a daytime look. Um, yeah, so I would actually wear this to work. That's just kind of how I am. I like a little bit of sparkle in my life. And what I've done first was I did apply some tape as a guard to keep this from having a lot of fallout that you have to clean up later. Now I will be starting out by using an e.l.f. Let's see here, it's an e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. This is in the shade Sheer. So I will be applying this to my entire eyelid. All the way up to my brow. I'm going to take my finger and very gently pat that in and blend it out a bit. I'm going to make sure I have it like in my creases and my lines, etc. So that way I'm going to have like a nice, even, smooth application. Alright. Next, I will be taking a Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal. This is in inked in pink um, just to show you guys it's more of like a metallic light pale pink I will be applying this product specifically to my eyelid and just a little bit into my crease and above my crease if you guys do not have a primer um, MAC paint pots work fabulous Elf smudge pot work, or sorry, Elf smudge pots, plural, works just as well, and so do the Maybelline color tattoos. They're pretty fabulous. That stuff will be on your face all day. Now, I went ahead and applied it again. I stopped a little bit above my crease, and I had kind of blended it out so that it has a very soft edge. The first shade from this palette that I'm going to take is going to be this sparkly brown right here. I will be applying that to my crease. Now I'm using, I'm going to actually use this palette dry. So I do need to grab a lot more product than I would if I was using it wet. And I'm going to be building up that color in my crease and a little bit above my crease. So I'm going to be blending that out. It does not have to be perfect because we're going to be blending it. So when in doubt, blend it out, ladies and gents. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take the middle shade here. It's kind of like a light pale, um, kind of like a pale champagne color. I will be applying that to my entire eyelid. like so. Next, I'm going to grab the, let's see here, it's the second to darkest brown in the palette. It is right here. It has, I want to say, kind of like a goldish sparkle to it, and I will be applying this just to the outer V of my eyelid and into my crease and along my lower lash line a bit. Again, it does not have to be perfect. It's going to lose some pigmentation when we blend it. So just make sure you do have a lot of color padded on. I'm 
and now I'm going to be blending that color out. So just kind of blend it everywhere that you've applied it. And blend it inwards a bit on the eyelid. Again, it's going to lose pigmentation, but what you're going to be left with is a nice, like, soft, smoky eye that's very subtle. It's, it'd be very nice for work, uh, weddings, prom, just every day. It's not drastic, but it is very pretty. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and blend the top edge of where that eyeshadow is all together. So I'm just going to go back and forth and make a nice smooth transition for my highlighter shade. Now for the highlight shade, I actually am using an Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade Sellout. It's somewhat shimmery, but it's a very, um, it has a nice sheen. No glitter, um, just a very nice like a metallic cream color. So let me go ahead and grab some of that. And I will be applying it, of course, right underneath my brow. When you first apply it, it looks very shiny, but we're going to be blending it, so it's going to soften it quite a bit. It's not going to be that drastic, I promise. Just kind of pat it down into the top edge of the colors that we used. And you guessed it, it's time to blend it all out again. So just kind of go back and forth. Like so. And you're left with a very light sheen. Um, yeah, it's very pretty. <laughs> I feel like a squirrel. I'm like, mmm, shiny. Um, anyways, I really, really like it. What I'm going to do next is take an eyeliner, and this is by Julep. It is the Gel Eye Glider in Smoky Taupe Shimmer. It's a very, very pretty color as well. I will be applying it right next to the tape. I'm going to create a wing with it. And I usually stop about a little bit less than halfway across my eyelid. What I'm going to be doing is taking a little tiny brush. I'm going to smudge it out. Make sure I've evenly dispersed the pigment. And make that line nice and smooth. Now, if you haven't tried Julep's eyeliners, they are amazing. I really, really like them. And this color is just very, very pretty. So I will be taking that same color again. I'm going to go ahead and grab it and apply it right on the outer edge of my eyelid. And I'm going to bring it underneath my lower lash line a little bit. I will be stopping about halfway underneath my lower lash line. I'll be taking that same brush that I just used and I'm going to be smudging it out a bit and carrying that product all the way over. Obviously it's going to be a little faded the closer it gets to the inner corner of my eye and that's the whole idea. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of an eyeshadow from that baked palette. I'm going to grab that medium brown again and I will be applying that right on top of that eyeliner. Like that. Now, I'm going to grab one more product for my actual 
eye like eyeshadow and it's going to be this very very pretty shimmery shade right here it's more of like a a pale gold mix and i'm going to grab a little bit on my finger i will be literally patting it right in the center of my eyelid like that it's going to help give a little bit more definition to my actual lid um, so it's very, very nice. I like it a lot. And I will actually be smudging just a little bit more because I feel like my eyes need to be Twinkies and they're not right now. Okay, a lot better. <laughs> now... What I'm going to do is take that same julep liner. I'm going to line my waterline with it. And then I will be applying some mascara. Of course, for my mascara, I always use the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Mascara because it's the bomb. I totally said that. It's the bomb. That's so, like, 90s. But... It's like a true story, guys. I love this mascara, and yes, I love it. My guy should totally be jelly. Don't tell him that. Bam. Bam. All right, I will be taking off the tape very, very gently so I can see my handiwork. And this is the look so far. Um, basically, that's it. I did apply some other products to my face, which I will actually um, just apply a little bit more to my face because sometimes the tape takes a little bit off. So I will be applying my foundation just a little bit underneath my eye. And then, of course, I'm going to be blending that out just a little bit. And I will be applying some blush. For the blush, I'm actually using the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder Duo. And this is in Fiji. And girls, it is matte. And gents, sorry, I'm so used to not saying that. I need to say that. But yeah, Peoples, this is totally matte, and it is beautiful. I actually contoured my face using the bronzing powder. There's no shimmer. It's fabulous. Um, so let me go ahead and grab some of that blush, and I'm going to go ahead and just pat it on the outer edge of my cheeks, along my hairline, bringing a little bit in at a time. like that and for the highlighter i actually am using the elf baked highlighter in moonlight pearl which is beautiful i seriously have so many hourglass products and i love their ambient lighting powders but this is so much cheaper and i i actually use this more i love hourglass though so don't get me wrong but if if you can't afford hourglass or you just can't really fathom spending like 36 to 58 dollars for a palette or a powder three bucks guys it's just as good so i'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this right there on the top of my cheekbones to add a little bit of shine it's gonna catch just the right amount of light it's almost as shimmery as the sellout eyeshadow from Urban Decay that we used as a highlighter. So, very nice. Nice continuity. And for the lips, what I have done was I actually used Max Secret Lover. And I'm not going to reapply it because I already have it on. But it's a very nice, let me go ahead and uh, swatch that for you. It's a very pale, nude, shimmery shade right there. Just very shimmery. I applied that first on top of the e.l.f. lip lock pencil and then I had taken the e.l.f. mineral lip gloss in Au Naturel, which is a very nice shimmery lip gloss and I applied a little bit on top so it gave it a little bit more of a color. Um, the 
Secret Lover by itself was just too sheer and too pale. So I wanted to kind of add a little bit more warmth and not look so washed out. And I really enjoy the way it looked, the way it came out. The whole look is pretty nice. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. It is perfect for summer. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys know how to reach me. And thank you guys for watching. So have a great day, and until next time.